We make the strings louder. Look who decided to show up. How's your pie, bud? How is your warm apple pie? It's not apple <laughs> so, so Dave's grandma made him a pie. And he like just left. Dave just like hopped in his car and left. And we're like, why why'd you leave, bud? And, and he he called me back like 20 minutes ago. He's like, hey, you still shop? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, I was like, why'd you leave? He's like, oh, I had to take my pie home. We're prick. Well, that's the only thing I get to take home, so. <laughs> so he's, he's stashing the pie from us. Um, but anyhow, so today is, it's a new day, it's a new video. We are uh, gonna wire Jesse's car. This is basically the engine harness. These 1Js are fairly simple to actually wire up. Like I said, if you guys have any questions about, uh, about the 1J, right Jesse? Yeah. If anybody has any questions, be sure to relay them. Jesse Drifts, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. I actually don't mind now. I thought hey, it was going to be a bunch of. He thought it was going to be a well. well tell tell you get about fifty a day, then then uh, it's then it'd be good. Entertaining talking to your subscribers about stuff. Well, they're your, they're bored. they're your subscribers well, now. Not mine, um, Jesse, can I get bored a lot, the, a lot more the, than Trevor because I'm I don't really have a bunch of crazy stuff to do like him. But Jesse, if the, can the married chicks hit you up on Ashley Madison, bud? Yeah, for all your I don't questions? have an account on there. Are you what are you, what are you on? I'm on, not on Tinder, I'm on Instagram, DM me. No, for the women, the, the, the Sheilas. Well, the Sheilas add me on Facebook, bud. <laughs> okay, all right. Facebook, bud. Is there, is there a root involved in there? <laughs> Only if they're willing. I'm not a freaking, is I'm not a champ. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, Jesse's yanking out his, the rest of the chassis harness. We're deleting all this shit. You can see that big hunk of wiring right there. Um... We're, I'm trying to look in here. He, I don't know what the hell he did. He cut off his dash. He just cut it. I mean, it's it's pretty cracked anyhow. But he just cut the son of a bitch off. Um, and his e-brakes just kind of self-tappered right there. And we like put nuts and bolts and washers. And those are Jesse welds right there. Um, but uh, so we kind of fixed it half-assed a drift event like the beginning of last season. And he left it. Um, so you can see we got the. <laughs> the shifter and everything installed in there so we're gonna try to figure out some sort of like a switch panel right there even though there's like nothing to mount it to because he deleted it all um but yeah so that's uh that's probably what what we're gonna start working on and i'm gonna do a uh, some wiring similar to what i have in my drift car which is basically headlights tail lights windshield wipers fans fuel pump and just like just a, a race car wiring harness essentially just bare bones so we went to the the auto zones and we got we got some premier wiring right here. I don't know, it was this it was like it's 15 buck. You should have just went to Lowe's and got the big rolls of 500 feet. Do they have like those? 36. Oh. Where, how come you didn't bring that? Um, it's got this little junction box. I like to use this for like the headlights and taillights and stuff and put basically put a relay going to it so as soon as you flip like the headlights and taillights it turns on like the headlights and the, the brake lights and all that other shit. Um, another relay that will probably run is like engine shit. Um, some switches, another little fuse box deal and some relays. Um, so this is going to be the basic setup right now. We might get like a switch panel, like an actual official switch panel later. But for now, this is what we got to work with. We're going to get it running and working like this. Go ahead, Ty. All right, so Ty, he's in before what? What are you in before? In before, uh, where's this next super video? What'd you do with the Evo? What about the Eclipse? What? <laughs> Jess, Jesse, what are you in before? Stop talking! What music is that? What channel on number Ch three? Change the intro. In, in before, in before, bring back the old intro. <laughs> How many two forties does David have? Will he sell one? In, in before, less talk, more work.
So this is the wiring on uh, on my drift car right here. It, it kind of looks like there's a lot of stuff going on, but there's not. I don't know. There, there kind of is, but there kind of isn't. Got some relays, distribution block, um, all that stuff mounted to like a little aluminum panel. That actually looks kind of complicated now that I look at it, but a lot of that wiring goes up here to the kind of the switch panel and the gauges. Um, basically, my theory right here is this is kind of the ignition for everything. That's that's the fuel pump. I start it with the key. That's headlights. Um, that's the windshield wipers. Uh, I don't know what that is. This is my like my fan, so that I could uh, I could just turn on my fan if I just want to sit it, let it sit there and uh, and rip for a little while. Yeah, but essentially doing something similar to this, probably not as complicated. Um, on his car, you can see I got me a little thing for somebody to, to kick and turn off my car right there. But, uh, but yeah, so that, that's kind of what we're going to be doing. All right, so I was just messing around on the inside of, uh, of Jesse's damn car with his ghetto uh, Mr. Mr. I cut my damn dash in half. Right? Why did you do that? I just cut everything, dude. He just cut it all. So let me crawl in this son of a bitch real quick. So... Here was the, was the first stage. I, we need somewhere to mount switches and, you know, all that type of stuff. So I made this initially, kind of go right here. And uh, that was kind of the first first draft of, of that. And then uh, I was like, well, then there's this big hole right here that his stupid, that, you know, he cut, the, his, cut his dash. Um, so I was like, all right. So then I went ahead and I transferred some of those pieces and I added some more stuff and measured some stuff. So then I made this with like a little fold. Makes it look a little cleaner. Dave, what do you think of that? Trying to go up higher with that cut. So this? Yeah, and a little bit wider. Yeah, that's the plan, but the, this is this is temp like the the deal. So anyhow, that's kinda how that's probably gonna end up. Where are you gonna put the uh, the turn the cut mission cut switch? I'm gonna put it right behind the e-brake, so when you when you fall off the e-brake you, you turn off your car just like mine. <laughs> um when so when you're fighting for the e-brake, you're like panicking you'll we need to figure this out i don't like that jesse you're stupid no. i don't want to mess with it because i don't have time to mess with it but just leave it just jesse's all season dude okay yeah until it doesn't but yeah so this is uh this is what i'm doing uh, now it's time to uh, i got this aluminum panel Jesus, over jesse. here so uh no heat so I went ahead and I transferred it over here. Um, basically, I was thinking about just doing a hole right there instead of that. Um, I think that'd be kind of cool. So I gotta basically cut that out. This is where the fold is gonna be, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's how that's how it's gonna be. Cutting that shit. All right, so this is kind of so far what I got for Jesse's little little panel. We're probably gonna put end up putting like the kill switch right here. And where would you like your switches, bud? I just do right here. And you could reach those with the. Uh huh. All right, so we got Dave uh, Dave back here wiring wiring Jesse's car up. This is way more legit than I was gonna do it. I was just gonna butt connect some shit and run some other stuff. Jesse, what are you doing in here? Resecuring that and then trying to figure out how I'm gonna drill that bigger. I went ahead and I mounted that panel right there and mounted the fuse box on it. And Dave, what'd you do? So Dave, Dave did something today. He wired in the tail lights. So now we just need to run this wire right here for the the more chooch for the the brake lights. So when you hit the brakes, they actually you know turn into brake lights. Yeah, he has. Just using the, the battery off of uh, a drill just to test that shit out, but uh, yeah, she works. Oh, we should turn the headlights on too. No, probably not. So here's kind of what, what it's going to look like. It'll be tightened up and all that stuff. So planning on like headlights, no, probably like fill pump headlights, windshield wipers, party lights, maybe radiator fan override or something like that i'm not sure and then this is like the main power to everything pretty much um it's right here well what am i doing i'm not really doing anything david is uh he is hardlining jesse's 
Um, turbo drain. So he has this aluminum hard line, but this bender thing that he has is kind of shitty because it only holds it down here, but he needs a tighter thing down up here. Right? Yeah. And then I don't have anybody to hold shit, so. What have I been doing? Fucking looking at. Now you, you just ruined my movie. Now I gotta, now I gotta cut that out. <laughs> well, fucking get your ass holding shit. Hey, another question is, is what if you just put it right here and then bent it tight and then just cut it short? It doesn't work. Okay. All right, so David's over here. What are you doing, David? Bending hard lines. So he's bending a hard line for, so this is like a 10 AN, like aluminum size deal. Here's some fittings. So we're gonna flare the end. Cause Jesse's, this manifold right here is, is probably the stupidest thing ever but you could see right here there's like there's like no room and it goes like straight down so to get like the proper it's supposed to be like 15 degrees so that the water you know kind of goes in and out um, but so basically it's getting hard lined from right here down so that it's just it's just better and it works because this uh, where's the other fit so this thing you can see how big the end is on this for this uh, kit that he got and it's just, it's way too damn big to fit, and then it, it just touches all that stuff, so it's right in the damn way. Um, still need to stuff the wiring back through there. We, uh, he got some more switches that he's hooking up to shit. He's actually just, like, ruining it for me, but, uh, but yeah. Hey, why did you hook? Okay. Okay! Don't get in here and change it if, if you want, bud. Okay. So I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm working. I'm just You're working. just doing it. You don't even know what you're doing, you're just doing I'm it. I'm just working, bud. So, uh, I'm gonna make Jesse run to the parts store, probably. And, uh, and I'm just gonna work on his care. Maybe. Alright, so I'm back here on the, the back. I just kinda ran a bunch of random lengths of, uh, of wire off of this deal. You can see we have, like, the party LED lights, the wipers, the headlights, and the fuel pump. And then you can see right here, I basically just looped them. Um, party lights are all LEDs, so that ain't gonna draw much power. This is gonna go to a relay, that's gonna go to a relay, and that's gonna go to a relay. Um, so basically this this power wire is just one single wire just hopping over and over. Um, you know, just going from each so that they all have power. And these are basically just, as soon as you hit it, it's gonna power a relay, so there's not really much, you know, amperage or, or current draw through those. I. Uh, I marked them on here. There's like the power wire for the thing. There's the wipers, headlight, fuel pump, all t all written down. So basically, I could kind of put this in there and uh, and start wiring up this little little panel up in there. David, what are you doing? I'll just uh, shorten this. So we've, uh, as you guys know, in my last movie or. At one point in time, I was bitching about the radiator and talking about the K radiator. Um, Chase Bays, they make this uh, tucked radiator kit. Um, here, I'll find a picture of it in the, in the... Hey, quit! So you can see right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, it basically tucks right behind the core support and is completely flush with it. Um, and it, it's basically just kind of a small radiator, but you have to do like an external like oil or like cooling, like radiator cap and stuff. Jesse's $300 NASCAR radiator. Oh, that's beautiful. See, that might work. We just weld right on the fucking bottom. Just weld a square onto it, pretty much. Huh? Yeah. Does the, uh, I think the chase base ones, you have to, uh, you might have to unbolt these. Oh, yeah, it's running into those. Like these yeah. brackets. Yeah. David, what have you done? I don't know, I hid something. What'd you, what are you hiding? Oh, you know, things. 
So we uh, we turned Jesse's uh, three hundred dollar uh, radiator into a science project. So yeah, this is uh, you can see that's how much is tucked in there. We had to cut off the the radiator cap, which was right here. You can see there's a big hole down there. We kind of had to V Oops. V the ends a little bit, put a little like forty five on them to get them to slide down in there. So basically now we need to get another water neck, weld it on in there and then need to probably get into doing some sort of like, well, David's gonna do, cause I don't, I don't get, do I got time for that shit or no? Oh boy. Brent, not me, David, David has plenty of time for it. He's gonna go ahead and uh, put like a swirl pot right here and uh, with like the radiator cap and everything like right there. So this is like the high point of the system. This is low point of the system. It's tucked radiator. We need to stuff them fans in there and see how those look. <laughs> Dave, what are you doing? Oh, I was just piercing your belly button. Stabbing oh, you thank in the, you. In the set. And... Oh, so David's over here hardlining. We, we've been waiting all week for this damn fitting to come in off the, the, oh, week, the like China, two days ago. The China eBay. That guy right there. It's a 45 degree, half inch NTP. To a, just done a, straight. A 10 AN. And now David is just making a uh, a hard a hard line There's... oil deal because. This manifold's just kind of shitty, and to get the right angle of the drain, and well, the, and then some he welded the rods in the way. Yeah, and then damn Brian welded the rods right right in the way. Your subscribers are gonna shit on you for saying NTP. What about PP? N NPT. PPC? Yeah. Okay, N NPT. How about that? And and it. Thanks, thanks for catching. I'll, I'll that. bet you five dollars. There's one comment about that. <laughs> well, now there won't be because we already figured it out. But anyhow, we need to get a little 45 for this thing. Um, Dave or Jesse ordered this uh, this pipe right here, so we're gonna weld this on his for his wastegate. I'm gonna actually shoot it right up and go straight out the hood, right? No. Okay. Uh, scratch cut, your paint with it. We're gonna cut your does. pretty paint job on the hood, though. What about that swirl pot? And then uh, the I was over here. Good. I was over here flinging chips on this little like lathe. Why did they do that? Sent this little Harbor Freight like thing. David was on the the Facebook Marketplace oh. and uh, and just bought this some bitch so. It's like a little mill lathe, and he got a Mac too. And then David made this uh, little swirly pot right here. Um, Pickpocket I mean? Is there what? Those ones on the bottom of their shit. Oh, I was like, oh. I left it over there for like. Didn't you know, turn out too bad though. Because then they have to grab your so, to steal it. I, I think it'll hold coolant, like and that? then we need to we need to figure out Where'd what we're doing with. Uh, this is an airport pipe. <laughs> That's dope. And then we we need to figure out how to weld this shut and put a little like a little vent tube off of it. And then don't we need to put two little nipples in the side, right? Yeah. So there's, and then a, and then a, yeah, a this one this one's gonna I'm gonna weld a bung on here. It's gonna go like that. It's gonna go. And then there's oh, gonna wow. be the bleed. It could go out the fucking hole right here in the fender or something. Not right onto his tire, huh? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So I spin. Yeah, well, because, you're already gonna spin anyhow. Because it's not um, even pulling out. But yeah, so Jesse, error. what do you think about your your hella tucked radiator? It's not tucked yet, but I I like it's, it. It's it's tucked. And we need tucked. to we need to weld a a little pipe onto that. Need to have I don't know. Need, need to do a bunch of dumb shit. Your stupid car turned into like a full build, not just like an engine like removing it. That's that's what it was supposed to be. And then it just it like we turned it into this other bullshit. <laughs> and he didn't even want to turn it into this shit. No, I kind of anyway. I like. Yeah, I didn't it want it to. I was like, I don't have time for this shit. And then all of a sudden, like, it just turned into this, and then it was like intercooler. I don't know. The projects. But anyhow, we're gonna weld this little V-band deal. I'm gonna cut this guy in half. I'm gonna keep this um, for me, Tax and Jesse. But yeah, I'm gonna give me some stainless welding on that. That's gonna be nice. So I got this thing welded on up. I welded the just kind of. Stuck those two together on the inside, but uh, it didn't turn out too bad. I kept some color in it, so that's nice. Um, yeah, there we, there we go. There's our our wastegate dump. Hmm. I'm gonna mark it. Oh. oh fuck! Oh fuck, David. Ugh. So much for this brand new thing. Oh wow, Dave, that's nice. Look at you, Dave. What are you doing? Oh, making. Some bungs for Jesse because he's too cheap to buy them. Is it working out? You think? Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty How many bungs are you gonna get out of that? Well, I'm gonna make six because that's what we need. Six bungs. Yeah. How did you cut this? 
Well, the outside, we don't have a carbide bit, so it looks like shit. Yeah. It's like some shit that's not sharp. And Dave's custom machine work right here. Check him out on YouTube. Oh, yeah. uh, Road Bash TV. Yeah, usually it's more like, uh, like actual mills and stuff, not like shit that doesn't work. Not like some... Shepherd. China. Shepherd. China, like 20 year old China shit. Yeah, so back back then it was probably like shit. Yeah. Compared to what it is now. Yeah. Yeah, China's stepping up their game. So David, what is this? This is your bung. Yeah. So yep. David made a bung, he needs to face this end off it because it's kind of... Well, we got like cut off with the saw. Yeah, we got cut off with the... Because we don't the, have a party tool. We, we don't have the right tools. This is just the, the Facebook marketplace find. Don't have all the things, but we're making it work with some shitty stuff. So Jess, Jesse's too cheap to fucking buy real fittings. So we uh, we drilled a hole over here and installed this little uh, little kill switch. This is the exact same one that I've had in my car. Um, yeah, David's getting ready to cut the thing off. Hey, Ronnie, get out of the way! It's dangerous as fuck. Well, Dave. it's like we don't have the right stuff, so you know you have to like get it done. Dave's machine and marine, huh? They've got a haircut. Dave, let's see your haircut. Oh, what? Show, show the you tell how thick your hair He's, is. I don't know. Yeah, show him your thick hair. Yeah, my, my thick hair. <laughs> Come on, let, let's see that hair. Jesse, go take his hat off. Hey, Dave, do you need some assistance? Go take my hat off, Jesse. Get fucking killed. Look at it. There you go. Oh, yo, Dave got a haircut. Haircut? I actually oh, got a haircut. Shit. We got haircuts together because it's National Friends Day, huh? Yeah. It's National Friends. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jesse needs one, too. Um, anyhow, I'm over here. I, I decided to start doing some wiring again. You can see up under here. Uh, I'm trying to get my damn headlamp. So there's, uh, there's that thing. So I got to hook up the, the battery terminals to it. Um, and yeah, then we, then we should be able to do some uh, some wiring on this some bitch. So and then up under here, you can see my little rat's nest of stuff. Go well, it's not it's it's mostly this stuff coming out of the harness that was kind of routed over here last time. Um, so you just kind of plug those in to get them uh, get them working again. You can see I got the the two relays kind of hanging out over there. My damn headlamps dying. But uh, yeah, I'll show you guys how I how I kind of wired some things right now. All right, so you can see my my headlamp's getting ready to die. But I have these two relays right here, um, and you can see I ran like the power off that one relay over to the di little distribution block, and that's where I have the two headlights going. Um, and I have basically this first or the second switch right here, triggering that relay, so that that triggers this relay and then the power goes to the, this distribution and then I have the two headlight wires going up towards the front um, as, and, as well as the the brake light wires too um, so yeah that's that's pretty much the the headlight and and tail light wiring just so that like the running lights um, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up another little thing so that I kind of distribute power um, for some other stuff off there too Alright guys, so we're uh, getting ready to do the kind of the first startup. I went ahead and I uh, I wired the, I gave the alternator a, uh, a cable, basically this cable right here, that's the power wire to the alternator. This is the power right wire right here to the starter. On that side, everything's hooked up here to that uh, switch. I'll show you that underneath it. Um, Basically everything's hooked up under there. I have that little jumper wire jumping to this little red wire running across here, which that basically hooks up to that guy. Um, so yeah, it's uh, pretty much ready to start. I just hooked, I'm gonna clean up all these wires. I just hooked them up here just, just to get them, just so they would, but uh, yeah, fuel pump works. Right now I just have this on uh, the, the cranking on. Uh, <laughs> I just have that on a switch, um, just because we're, we're trying to get a little bit of trying to get oil pressure into the into the turbo. Well, I, I go go ahead.
that's not too bad. Yeah, that's some bitch is gonna rip. That sounds like it's a pissed off bumblebee, huh? What the fuck? Yours doesn't make that noise. What? I know. <laughs> We're doing the uh, tail, tail light wiring here. There you go. Doing the uh, tail light wiring here. Yeah, no, tell, I apologize, this video probably hasn't been as thorough as I, I, I kind of wanted it to be. So essentially right now we just ran a wire from uh, the brake light switch. Take you guys into there and show you that. Um, so you can see that wire running right there to the brake light switch. There's two wires coming off of it, so I need to tie into that one up there on the top. Um, that guy right there. Um, so I'm just making a little wire right now, just a little butt connector, and I'll show you what I'm going to do on the other side. Alright guys, so uh, basically this is the wire coming off of the, the brake switch over there that's running back to the tail lights. So right now I just need to give this guy power, and so as soon as it has power and we hit the, the brakes, then, they'll have, uh, then the brake lights will turn on. So basically what I did is off of this, uh, sorry I'm trying to get the damn light in here. Um, off of this this little fuse box right here, you can see. Damn it, you can't really see shit. So see that top fuse right there. That wire runs over to the top of that little distribution block right there. See how there's two little deals kind of going into it. And so basically, I just need to tie into that. This is just kind of a universal spot that I tied into. So as soon as as we give this power. Um, it'll go ahead and just give that little distribution block power up there and that'll work good for the brake lights and stuff, so. Alright, All right, so as soon as we give this thing power, that's gonna give that little, uh, this whole distribution block power, I have that tied off into that thing. So now, when Jesse hits the brakes, in theory they should work. Hit the brakes. Oh shit. They both work? They work. Alright, turn the, turn the headlights on. Now hit the brakes. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Damn! So, Do you not have headlight them out. So now we got. Uh, hey, turn the headlights on again. Headlights work. Fuel bright? pump works. The only thing, the only really stupid thing we need to do is wire in Jesse's like stupid party lights <laughs> and his uh, winch and the the that whatever that is. See if it fits. Good job, David and Trevor. Now let's let's get the old That's vittles here. Look at that. Hold on, hold on. Let's get this on video, dude. Look at that. Do that seam. So you don't even need to weld it. It already fit. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> Other Maybe side. That. Oh. How dope is that shit? Yeah. Look at the uh, the catch can setup that David built for for the Retia town. Well, it looks like a catch can. That's why I was saying that. That looks like that a looks can. like a swirl pot. That doesn't. Look, that looks like a catch can. The catch can's not that tiny. A swirl pot's not that tiny. Yeah, it is. Look on the internet. Look on the internet. You look on the internet. <laughs> hey. All right, so uh, David got some of this, uh, this little cat weld. We, we all kind of had our turn welding on it. So this, we just welded two pieces of, of stuff together because we didn't have a big enough deal. And uh, did that right there, welded the bung, welded it on this thing, welded the little output. So the theory behind this is uh, that the hot coolant's gonna come out of here and it's gonna like swirl around, kind of go to the bottom, create like a little vortex in there. It'll look like a little tornado. And all the bubbles will come out of here That'll be pointed over here, and it's going to go to the top of this uh, this little tank right here. Uh, this thing is going to go to the top of the radiator over here, like the highest point of the radiator. Um, and this this thing will just kind of come out and go right there into the radiator. We still need to do the bottom thing. Um, we got this thing all kind of welded up with, uh, with a bunch of random welds. Um, kind of, of a pain in the ass, basically. There's this core right here, and then it's kind of thinner in there, and I don't know. Well, hopefully it doesn't leak. So. We all were kind of, this is basically just theory testing on uh, 
on Jesse's car and using it as an example. But this is uh, this is where the top bung is going to go out. There's going to be like a little 90 degree thing right there, and then I don't know. It should work. So now this is uh, Jesse's fully tucked radiator. Um, kind of we're running out of room in the front and just kind of wanted to, you know, kind of like the Crown Vic project, just practice TIG welding, fabricating, sh fabricating shit, seeing how, uh, how stuff works, if we could kind of improve on designs or uh, we go back to the drawing board. But basically there's going to be a little 90 coming out of here and then we need to weld another... Uh, like a, a the outlet pipe or whatever, inlet pipe, into that right there. I uh, got kind of the coolant lines on the turbo figured out. Um, but yeah, so basically, I don't know, about another damn night on this thing. I know I said this thing was like a full winter build in like a week, but uh, it just kind of turned into something that uh, just turned into this, you know, making all this shit and, and all that. Um, and then David's been being lazy, and uh, we've, we've been kind of arguing about who's... Uh, not arguing, but just giving each other shit about who's doing what on here. But uh, it's been cool kind of playing with this thing. Uh, you guys seen me cutting that uh, that uh, that damn little pipe, getting that on it, and uh, and that worked out pretty well. So this thing's gonna be cool um, once we finally get it, it messed with. So yeah, basically the the whole like race car wiring thing. Um, I'm gonna show you the wiring. I went ahead and I cleaned it up a little bit. So here's the tail light wiring just kind of spliced into the factory stuff positive and negative as well so there's three wires in there positive negative and brake light um, same thing on this side basically splice them together um, and, uh, so yeah, those are spliced the ground runs all the way up the front um, so basically you just have a power that turns on with the headlights and then uh, extra power that turns on when you hit the brake with the brakes so you can see up under here we have the, the headlight wiring running over to there. Um, the grounds kind of merge up and then you can see right there, they merge into that. So the two wires come coming from the front and the rear, they merge there. This goes up to the brake switch. So basically you just give power to that. That power wire is running over to the little distribution that I have when the ignition switch is on. Um, so yeah, this is basically how you start the car now is uh, or actually, I went ahead and I tied in on, uh, I made like, or I'll, I'll show you. So up under here, um, I cleaned up the wiring quite a bit from kind of where it was, kind of zip tied some shit up out of the way so it doesn't look like such a cluster. Kind of still need to do some stuff about the stuff in the back, but uh, we need to replace this, this little thing. Um, so my theory with this wiring is, is basically this is the ignition switch for pretty much everything. Um, so instead of running like a big relay or anything that basically powers the whole car, running a bunch of relays that trigger like the ECU, this basically is it right there. Can you turn on the... So we got the, the main kill switch up there, which is like the Pro-Am legal deal. Um, so that's, so yeah, basically this is ignition switch. So when I hit this, it goes down to this little uh, fuse box. Basically this, this power wire right there, running right there, hooks up to that. So that basically gives all that stuff, all that fused, everything's fused. Um, and then you can see I have the two little wires right here coming off. Those power the, the two relays. I have the fuel pump relay and the headlight relay. Um, so basically, once you, uh, once you hit that stuff, it gives that power. You could, did you turn that off? No, it's a stupid switch again. Okay. Yeah, this stupid switch is being... Push it in a little bit when you turn it. So yeah, there's a fuel pump right there. This switch is being really, really stupid, so we're just gonna replace it tomorrow. Um, you hear the fuel pumps on, that's headlights. Um, what the hell is, oh, this is supposed to be the, the, windshield, the windshield wipers, and then this is the party lights. So he has those, you can see the lights flashing underneath. He's got, uh, he's got the damn LEDs and shit under there. So there's the party lights. Um, but yeah, basically those, uh, these two front ones is fuel pump headlights. Those trigger the two relays right there. Um, I have those going into 
you can see the headlight wire, that one right there, that goes to a little distribution and that basically distributes to the, the two things. Um, right here, this top fuse, to, yeah, that top fuse right there, that wire, if you trace it, it goes right over to the top right here. And I have that is basically like a switched power. So whenever the car's on, those two wires over there, and I could add kind of whatever, so I could do like gauges and little stuff like that later. Um, you can see like the headlight wire, I have this yellow wire going to it. Um, that basically powers the the gauge lights right here. So when you turn on the, that was just another little thing. So the headlights and everything work. They're not pointed up right now. And uh, fuel pump works. So yeah, and then, like I said, that, that power, that, that basically switch power wire that I have on the dis distribution, I have that running for the ignition switch. Make sure this thing's in neutral. So fuel pump, and then I, I have it wired over here to the actual ignition switch, so. So there we are, now we're running. Um, this thing's all quiet right now. But yeah, that's, uh, that's basically simplified wiring. But uh, yeah, in, in order to kill the car, to actually turn it off, you have to turn this thing off um, to be pro-am legal. Oh. So to be pro-am legal, you have to be able to kill the car with this uh, switch up here, uh, just in case your, your thing like actually, like you get in a wreck or whatever. So basically you hit this thing and that uh, that cuts power to that whole little distribution block in there. And uh, as you can see right here, I have some wires running out to uh, to power the windshield wipers. Um, I was having some issues like figuring out the diagram on it, but uh, basically this is going, this W wire right there is going to run to another relay, which is gonna power the windshield wipers. So it's, uh, since those draw kind of a lot of current, so hopefully that uh, that answers a lot of questions that you guys have. If you do have questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll try to kind of answer a few of them. If, if there's a lot of the same question in there, uh, I might just kind of end up doing like a little write-up on my Motion Auto TV thing. Um, I didn't say it in the last like whole projects video. I basically went and, uh, and did a full write-up on this car as far as like all the parts that I use, like the engine, the tranny, um, you know, the radiator, the turbo setup, the, the, the wheels, the tires, the suspension, the coilovers, um, the cage, the seats, like all that type of stuff, like, you know, the suspension arms. I basically did a full write-up of this car, like what body panels, what bumper, what headlights, that, like that type of stuff. Basically, I feel like it just answers a whole lot of questions for a lot of people other than trying to go back and watch all my videos and try to figure out, you know, like 30 videos ago when I painted my body kit, if I, act, if I mentioned what the name of it was or whatever in there. So figure that uh, that'll help you guys out. Be sure to go check that out. The link will be in the description. I thought about doing uh, like kind of some more like how-to stuff on there. Um, I might make Jesse like write like a, a, a how to Jay-Z swap like ultimate guide or something. And uh, and that's going to be his, his contribution for helping out doing all this extra sh do shit that. on his car or something. But uh, that'll be good inf info for you guys. So you guys, uh, you know, don't have to ask me a bunch of questions or a million uh, questions like Jesse or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so this thing's, it's shit, it's close. Apologize, uh, we weren't able to go first any rips, but uh, that should be uh, should be shortly. Uh, as soon as I get this thing done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and try to, to get the engine bay done with uh, on the Supra so that I could get a Supra video out. I, I've just been neglecting the shit out of that thing. Um, but as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you learned something, uh, you know, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And, uh, and yeah, maybe check out some of the, the previous videos of me wiring this thing. Um, I, I'm really happy with the, the way that the interior and everything turned out with this. Basically when I did last year and kind of did the little revamp on this thing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing some uh, updated paint work and stuff with it. Probably leaving the, the scheme the same. I, I, I love how simple and clean that looks. But uh, I'm going to quit rambling. I'm going to get home and edit this thing for you guys. And, uh, and yeah, I'll see you next. I'll see you Thursday.